Drastevery by Maneskin is the next wonderful, wonderful single I'm about to introduce you to from this particular group. The great thing about Maneskin is they change their format to suit their moods, to suit their ballads, not to suit a particular fan base, or, well, it's a global fan base. Just, I honestly feel with this group, if they're in a happy mood, out will come a great song. If they're in a, if they're in an argumentative mood, out will come another great song. But when they get together and they formulate a ballad, like Tra Vesteri, which we're about to find out what the name means, because a lot of people don't know, what they produce is <coughs> something extraordinary. Extraordinary. That's the word for it. I wanted to find out what the word meant as well. So I've done my research and I'm going to give you the reason why I think this song is connected to a neighborhood in Rome. Travis, there is a place called Tras Averi, which people want to know, what does it mean? And it literally means beyond the Tiber. Now, if you develop things in this ballad and what they're singing about, I think it gets its origins from the neighborhood because it's also the name of this particular neighborhood in Rome in Italy. And colorful Trastevere is a funky bohemian area that clings to its centuries old working class roots. It's known for traditional, innovative craft beers, pubs, artisan shops, as well as <coughs> simple bed and breakfasts and budget hotels. So, until late, until young, there's a young crowd that buzzes around the Piazza di San Calisto and the Piazza Santa Maria in Trastevere, the site of a gilded mosaic filled church is what awaits you along with other things that I've just mentioned. So it's a beautiful place. It's young, it's youthful. It's a place we can get craft beers and just let yourself go. Because today's song carries a similar theme. So I'm tying it all together. Trastevere, the place is where the inspiration came from for the song. And what took place there was this. One member of Maneskin sat down and started writing about their time in this place. This is what I feel. Because the song Trust Feverdi by Maneskin touches upon themes of desire, judging by the lyrics, freedom and emotional detachment. The lyrics evoke a sense of longing for intense experiences and a willingness to let go of inhibitions. So you can imagine it was inspired by that town, Trust Feverdi, and the craft beers, artisan shops, a bohemian way of just, you know, I'm going to have a smoke, I'm going to let go, I'm going to be myself. It's a young buzzing crowd. This is what this place is all about. There's a place similar in Berlin, very similar to Trastevere. I just can't think of its name. But I remember walking through it with my partner and I said, it's very bohemian. And my partner said, yes, this is what it's all about. And it had the most incredibly artistic, almost futuristic coffee places. And I just loved it and I really felt at home and I just felt no inhibitions being there and I just let go. So I feel a connection, some kind of connection that that's what inspired this song. Of longing for those intense experiences and a willingness of, to let go of inhibitions. That's what it's about. So Maniskin, take it away and we'll discuss the lyrics straight after. The taste of the drug The look of a stranger Who has seen too much Nothing comes for free But you can pay with your heart If you got one Tell me all your questions All you got to ask Says leaking his fingers And shuffling the cards I'll give you the talent, you can give me your life If you got one I swear to God that from tomorrow there will be no more pain I will cancel your name from me 
much wall, no my songs And I had to work down to my knees But to be honest, I never truly gave a shit When you didn't come along Oh, so leave me alone Open up my chest, take everything I've got The touch of an angel, the taste of a drug, the look of a stranger who has seen too much. Nothing comes for free, but you can pay with your heart if you got one. Tell me all your questions, so you got to ask. He's licking his fingers and shuffling the cards. I'll give you the talent, you can give me your life If you got one I swear to God that from tomorrow there will be no more pain I will cancel your name from each one of my songs And I had the word down to my knees But to be honest, I never truly gave a shit When you didn't come along that was the first time honestly I, I if my mother looks down I'm telling you the truth I have heard that I just didn't want to to play it I knew about it I heard a snippet of it but I'm talking about in its entirety like that I'm sharing the moment with you I think that was just for me personally on the the way it's just hit me that song and the lyrics how he sung it, how he delivered it. What a transformation this group is going through. They were always strong singers. They were always formidable. They were always that wow factor from Eurovision that just, but even before Eurovision, I, I, I had actually watched videos on YouTube and thought, I wonder who these people are. They deserve a bit more limelight. Boy, did they get the limelight. But they're incredible. We talk about, and I once said it in a previous Maniskin reaction, I did. They are the modern day Fab Four. Now we've had the Beatles with a recent number one. They came back with A1 technology, Sir Paul and Sir Ringo. And I can only say this. Thank God for music from a, a group that is so sensational in what they do. It's almost hard to describe the lyrics and everything of what they do. But we're going to. Congratulations. I, that's my new favourite song. That really had an impact when I was listening to that. Now, I always before, just to let you know, I always before I hear, you know, see the video and hear the song and hear them sing or perform live or whatever, I always go through the lyrics and see what hits me and my interpretation is very similar to the impact that that song has just given me that's quite that's karma because well i i really uh, I, i'm lost for words it, it, it it's powerfully delivered the chorus says the touch of an angel, the taste of a drug, the look of a stranger who has seen too much. Nothing comes for free, but you can pay with your heart. If you've got one, tell me all your questions. All you've got is to ask. She's licking his fingers and shuffling the cards. 
I'll give you the talent. You can give me your life if you've got one. So it's, it's obviously the torture. I'm going to call him Damo, singing the lyrics of torture from somebody who's just... Whatever you do to him, whatever, you know, because here it's, it's the touch. It's not about sex. It's about touch and almost in an art form coming to life through the lyrics that he's expressing it in such an artful, delicate way that no matter what way this guy touches you or makes you feel, I can do the same. You, you get that from those lyrics. Because that, a touch of an angel, the taste of a drug, the look of a stranger, it says, who's seen too much, it suggests for me a desire of excitement and the thrill of something new. It reflects that yearning for intense, for intensity of emotions that can be both captivating and addicting, addictive. I'm still impacted. I can't believe I'm still impacted by that video. I thought that was just amazing. The bridge says, I swear to God that from tomorrow, there'll be no more pain. I will cancel your name from each one of my songs. And I had the world down to my knees. But to be honest, I never truly gave a shit when you did come along. So, oh, leave me alone. Open up my chest. Take everything I've got. Yeah. Take my heart, my soul, the pit of my stomach, take what's in my brain. It's, 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 it's so intense, the lyrics. But let me just finish this, the chorus. The touch of an angel, the taste of a drug, the look of a stranger who's seen too much is repeated. Nothing comes for free, but you can pay with your heart if you've got one. Tell me all your questions, all you've got to ask. She's licking his fingers and shuffling the cards. I'll give you the talent. You can give me your life if you've got one. How powerful is that? It's like, wow, this song just reaches new, new levels. And I'm studying the lyrics to put into words now. Because when he says the lines, I'm too afraid, but you can play with your heart. If you've got one, that indicates vulnerability. It does. But an acceptance that playing with emotions is part of the human experience. So imagine that touch of the, and the licking of the fingers. That's playing with his emotions, but that's part of a desire of a want to also have that person lick your fingers and show them you can be as delicate and as soft and as welcoming and as sensual as that person. You know, it's like embracing the unknown with trepidation before it happens or it mightn't happen if it's just a fantasy, but it suggests a bargaining nature in a relationship. What will, what can, what cannot, what should, what ought to, that kind of thing. It implies a willingness to trade personal talents or experiences in exchange for a deeper connection, like I've just said, I can do that. I, I'll make you sensual. I can be just like the person who's torturing me or with somebody like that, when I can be like that. And did Damo learn too late? Because I'm just mentioning Damo, because he is singing the lyrics, so we'll reference him in what I'm trying to say. And then he goes on to the bridge, which says, I swear to God that from tomorrow there'll be no more pain. I will cancel your name from each one of my songs. And I had the world down to my knees. To be honest, I never truly gave a shit when you did come along. Oh, so leave me alone. Open up my chest. Take everything. So leave me alone. Open my chest. Open up my chest. Take everything. Powerful. That's a moment of realisation and empowerment. Why? Because the lyrics express here a determination to let go of that pain and remove the influence of a particular person. Obviously, the other person that's making him jealous and he wants to replace that person in her affections. From the songwriter's 
life, in other words, demos. The line, I will cancel your name from each one of my songs, only symbolizes a desire, everybody, to move on and detach emotionally because he's been tortured too much. What he's seeing, he, he probably feels, look, I'll never replace, and realizes I have to move on. So I'll erase any thought and memories from songs that I've written. The outro with the oh dili la di la di la repeated leaves a room for listeners' interpretation. In other words, the song, the guitar, the solo bit at the end just leaves you just thinking, oh, what a song, and digesting the words, what would I do? <laughs> that kind of thing. For your own interpretation, if you were in that situation. It also might be a bit of a, a mantra, an expression of indifference towards expectations and judgments in certain situations. Could he, should I, would I, like I said before. Overall, Trastevere captures a desire for intense experiences. It really does. And a willingness to take risks only, as I would say, if they're worth it and that you can. And a journey towards self-empowerment and emotional detachment if it means saving your sanity by moving on, then do it. If you can't be the other person, go find that other person. So that's what, what I feel it's about. And I hope you enjoyed my interpretation. Thank you so much for listening. Maniskin, thank you for what I consider my personal favourite of yours so far. I know you're going to beat it in 2024. You're, you're full of oh, But for now, this is my favourite song. For the reasons I've mentioned. Thank you.